Thomas, happy belated birthday. I need to know, what kind of cake did you have? Yeah, thank you for the wish. And uh, I had uh, from my wife, uh, with daughter, she did uh, cheesecake, uh, oh. how made cheesecake. So it's like, it's my favorite. So I like it. So it was great. Uh, and we had like parents around, so we all of us had uh, this cake. Is it just cheesecake or did you have chocolate on top? And no, just raspberries were oh. on the top and uh, the cheesecake was uh, already like good taste and I like uh, the basic one, so that was so lovely. I had like my number there and candles, so okay. yeah. Now it's like just numbers of the candles, not uh, the uh, 28 <laughs> ones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just checking. Uh, are you allowed to have cake? Are you allowed yeah, to say that you yeah, are? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's fine. Did Especially you... not, not the evening, but uh, for example, after the lunch, uh, I like something, sometimes something like uh, this uh, little uh, like sweetie. Yeah, a little bit of dessert. Because you, you guys you guys get the fat test like every week and stuff. Like yeah, so, um... <laughs> we go for the veil for the scale uh, like every every day to check uh, our weight. Uh, but I am quite good at this, so it's it's okay. I can uh, take. And I, I'm sure that was nice. I'm sure it was great having your parents over as well and your family. But what result on the weekend? Yeah, that was uh, uh, my first present because I uh, had a uh, birthday on Monday, but this was Saturday game and uh, it was my first yeah, present, uh, but uh, I really need it. Uh, so uh, this win, uh, especially for Neil uh, and uh, such an important game, and it was a great, uh, great start of the like present week uh, or uh, birthday. Uh, weekend. Does it feel like a turning point for the club, at least in, in domestic competition, at least in the Premier League? Yeah, I believe uh, that, especially for the last uh, few weeks, uh, we uh, little change our style. We uh, played uh, much better than at the beginning, uh, but we needed uh, the result as well. So we show up uh, in this last game, and I just hope yeah, that uh, the turnover is going and uh, we will go just higher and higher. What do you think has been the difference between the West Ham we saw last year and the year before that and this season? I think that uh, such a difference is uh, the beginning of the season because I remember that uh, like two seasons in a row we started uh, unbelievable. Uh, like uh, we were uh, maybe top four in the first ten games and we just kept going. And now, uh, yeah, we didn't win, uh, I think, the first three uh, games and uh, we stuck uh, at the bottom of the table and it's uh, very hard to go higher and higher. So, the, uh, also we had like a few changes of the squad, so we have to find a way how to play, how to go find the spirit, but especially like, for example, this win can uh, help us uh, a lot. Yeah, and I'm sure being tired a little bit at least because you've played like pretty much every game. You came here on loan as we know and then you played a lot of games and you joined permanently, you played a lot of games. It takes a toll on the body. Yeah, it is. It's not just uh, physically, but mentally as well. Uh, it's uh, nearly from the yeah COVID time. We uh, are playing every three, four days, and it's like we just uh, play game, can come back from the game, so two days uh, recovery, and the brain has to be ready for the next game. So it's uh, yeah, it's uh, quite difficult. Uh, for, so we have to find a way how to get relaxed, uh, even in uh, our mental side. And uh, after, after that, it's just uh, to be ready, to be uh, passionate of the game, motivated, and it's uh, very important. And to see you personally getting back to the goal-scoring form that we've come to associate you with. Yeah, I would like, of course, uh, to get uh, on the goal uh, gore sheet, uh, but uh, for me, it's like more important to get uh, wins and to get out of the relegation because we were in the relegation zone like before this game. Now we are not, but still, uh, we can be there in the few if uh, we not do maximum. So even at the session, everywhere, I want to get ready myself, get ready like my guys, uh, my team. So I want to help like. Uh, on every yeah uh, and in terms of building chemistry in the middle of the park you've got Paqueta you've got a uh, rice it, it can take a lot of work on the training ground just trying to get the chemistry the understanding knowing what the other person wants, particularly if they're new, like Luka Paqueta. Yeah, that's, uh, the chemistry is very important because I came, also me and Dek uh, maybe uh, one, two months uh, took time to get regularly together and it's uh, even now and after that uh, we found uh, like uh, two or three years unbelievable 
and now it's uh, another like change. Uh, Lucas uh, Paqueta came, and also at the beginning of the season uh, we couldn't find a way. But now I hope that we found it. We all are ready, and just uh, yeah, we showed a big example against Nottingham Forest. But we we have to show in the next uh, couple of weeks mm. or so. It's a very general term. What, what is your card game choice? For example, Uno, I like. Oh, Do you know yeah, Uno? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a more, I don't know, kids, ga, uh, kids games, uh, but even in, uh, for the adults, it's uh, yeah, very competitive. Uh, and sometimes with the guys, for example, poker is like for the like, a real, uh, real one. But I like uh, all of the type of cards because when I was young, I uh, remember that I played it uh, with my grandpa, granddaddy, oh, yeah. and with everyone. So it was uh, lovely, and uh, I have still this idea to play with, for example, my kid. I'm going to bring the best of both worlds. Maybe you've already played it. Cards and Monopoly, Monopoly deal. Have you played that? <laughs> yeah, I played Monopoly uh, to get like, it's like a Monopoly deal. Yeah, deal. With, the, so you have the with the horses or with the buildings. Yeah, like so two you times. build your, yeah, and then yeah. you get the rent and then it's the first to complete the three sets. And it's yeah, yeah, I remember when I was young, I played a lot of uh, these types of uh, yeah, games. Yeah. Fun. Uh, who is actually the best at cards within the, within the team though? Is it you? Yeah, probably me. <laughs> I'm very competitive, I said it, so I want to win, like, everything is possible. Okay. But, yeah, so now is everyone uh, scared to play against me. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Maybe you cheat. I'm kidding. No, nah, no, nah, nah, that's not mine. <laughs> it's got cards up your sleeve. Uh, I also read that you're into sports documentaries. Yes, yeah, so I like uh, the stories of the real life. Uh, yes, yeah, so not just sports, just documentaries. Uh, I like even sports, yeah, okay. everything like uh, like sports uh, from the real life, even documentaries. Uh, so what's happened, and even if it's not uh, from real, uh, I uh, I like it to watch. Uh, so it's uh, yeah, for me it's entertaining. Uh, even I can find a little bit of my life mm. and uh, what happened to someone else. So that's uh, very interesting for me. I'm sure you watched like the Last Dance. Yeah, for example, this oh. for sure I watched there yeah, uh, because it's also motivated uh, for the player uh, when uh, someone can see uh, yeah, a lot of dance. Uh, uh, so it's like uh, you get uh, you just want to go on the pitch and uh, play. Yeah, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't basketball also a big thing in the Czech Republic? Yeah, it is. It is uh, like, yeah. We have like for sure football, but after that is uh, probably ice hockey and uh, basketball and volleyball, handball. This uh, we are quite uh, uh, variability of uh, all of the sports. Okay. Uh, final two questions. I need to have a recommendation from a documentary for me to watch and for whoever's watching this right now. <laughs> <laughs> what comes to mind when I say documentary? <laughs> what would you recommend? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, as you said, the last dance is uh, last probably dance. the best one, yeah, because it's like quite new, like for I don't know five uh, five years or uh, old, and it's uh, also yeah entertaining for everyone. I also like uh, to watch uh, the, for example, the seasons of the uh football teams what mm. they do like uh, or or nothing yes yeah that's yeah. uh very interesting you can see like uh, behavior of the players managers like uh, people who look after of the clubs so everyone owners so this is uh, what i like uh, too i'm going to recommend very quickly to you a few uh senna which is all about the formula one driver senna yeah Ayrton senna brilliant documentary uh there was one about ronaldo the original brazilian open yeah, I know, I know this. Yeah. And F, uh, F1, I also watch uh, this. Is, uh, yeah, Drive to Survive. Yeah, that, that's good. Right? Yeah. And the final question is this um, I also really like tennis. Are you allowed to tell me who your favorite of the big three is? Federer, Nadal, or Djokovic? Yeah, for me, it's Federer, yeah, because he's like masterclass uh, on, on and off the pitch. He's, uh, he showed like he's the, the first one. And uh, for me, will be first uh, like forever. Even he uh, probably uh, that uh, can win that trophy uh, as uh, Djokovic because he's younger, he's still playing. But Federer will be uh, always the first one. 
especially here in England, he won like uh, Wimbledon uh, many times, uh, and uh, yeah, he's like master class of the tennis. And he's just classy. Yeah, he's just class. classy. That's, yeah, that's enough to say, it's just class. All right, uh, do you have a message for the Malaysian fans, all the Hammers fans out there? Yeah, hello all of the yeah, Malaysian fans. Uh, I am happy that uh, I could do interview uh, for you, and also I appreciate uh, your support, especially for the Hammers. Uh, so uh, I wish you a happy, happy day and I hope that you will support us uh, uh, for the long time and uh, we show you back uh, on the page.